It's time for your daily dose of Dragon Feather. Hey, this is Dragon Feather, and yes, I cut my hair. What do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think. Uh, so yeah, I'm here to do a video on how to become a witch. Last week I did a video on how to become a Wiccan, and there is a little bit of a difference. I get questions about it all the time, and I just wanted to clarify a little bit in a more recent video, because I know that I have videos on this clarifying it, but they're old as balls. So Wicca is a, again, and I'll say it a million times, Wicca is a religion, and witchcraft is a practice. So Wicca is more like Christianity and stuff like that, while witchcraft is more like... I make bracelets for a living kind of thing. Like it's just a practice, it's something that you do and some people would consider it a hobby, but it's definitely a way of life. Just like vaping is a way of life, oh my gosh. Basically, if you wanna become a witch, first decide what kind of witchcraft you wanna practice. Do you want to be a kitchen witch? Do you want to be a green witch? Do you want to be a gray witch? Do you want to be a sea witch, a draconic witch, a fairy witch? What kind of witch do you wanna be? You gotta just kinda sit down and write out what you like to do and how you wanna go about, what attracts you, what kind of power things are yours, like, Maybe you just want to be a witch that works with just the essence of wolves. Like, you can do that. Don't do anything stupid. It's... Don't do anything stupid. As you guys know, uh, one of the biggest things and probably the best way that someone knows a witch is the old, haggly woman with the huge nose and the pointed chin and the green skin and the pimples and she's stirring her cauldron and flying on her broomstick with her black cat. Now that's about as stereotypical as it gets, but that's not what we are and that's not who we are and that's not what we do. Witches use the, the essence of themselves or magic, if you will, and use their own energy to manipulate and create change in their own lives. And that's what a which is like there's really nothing more to it than that guys like we don't hex people some of us have we don't curse people some of us have but not all of us do not all of us are dark not all of us are evil though I've met some evil witches and I've had my fair share of badness I've met some bad witches I've met some good witches most of the witches that I know are very sweet people and don't do dark magic at all they actually have a very anti no dark magic kind of thing but me I kind of don't really believe in black and white magic it's kind of just another video topic for sure so first decide what kind of witchcraft you want to be and then once you get there look into it what do you need to be a particular type of witch so for a draconic witch I definitely because I'm a draconic witch I definitely recommend that you get the book Mystical Dragon Magic by DJ Conaway. It's a great book and it'll tell you all you need to know about magic in the form of dragon practicing and all of that. Some dragon sort of things, some dragon related items, make an altar. It's cool. My altar for my draconic stuff doesn't even look like an altar. It kind of just looks like this awesome, cool dragon dedication thing in my room, like a dragon collection. And for a while, that's kind of how I, like, you know, when I was in the closet, I was like, it's just my dragon collection. So, <laughs> there's that. If you want to be a fairy witch, look into it. What do you need for being a fairy witch? Definitely gonna go with lots of you know, earthy related things, get lots of plants and little tiny houses and all of that. If you're going to be a kitchen witch, you know, find out what herbs you're going to need to cook with and how you can do that, what utensils you'll need. I can't even cook a regular meal besides ramen, so kitchen witchery is not my topic. So I want to get there eventually, one day, maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Once you find that out, buy a few books on it, you know, search it on the internet and see what you can find. Yeah, you're gonna have to sit, sift through some bullshit, but you can always ask me if you guys have any questions and I'm more than happy to help you guys. Um, info is in the description box down below if you guys are like interested in like talking to me because I know I'm just so cool anyway, just cocky feather, just totally. Buy a book or two, find something and make your things. This is one of my biggest things is I'm a very big advocate for making your own stuff in witchcraft because that's what it's about. Back in the old days, especially in this book, which is one of my favorite books, I can't find a link to it online, but maybe one day I will. But in here it says that all the tools were made by the witch. Back in the olden times when like the witch trials were happening, it was saying that as an old tradition and an old practice, the witch made her own tools, which basically when she made her own tools, she was allowed to put her own power and put her own or his own, excuse me, I'll go into that in a second, to put their own power and energy into it. Witchcraft was predominantly a thing for females because at the time, females were like so belittled and we were like basically second class citizens, borderline animals in the man's eye at that time. And witchcraft was a resort to us to where we didn't feel so helpless, to where we didn't feel so 
you know, not so awesome. But for sure, anyone of any gender can be a witch. And it's not warlock or witch, it's just all witch. We just go by witches. But if you go want if you prefer to go with warlock or wizard, do it if you want. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it. Some people might, but I just don't give a shit. Whatever makes you happy is the way you should go. When you make your own tools, you can put your intentions into it and you can bring about what you want and while you're crafting it you can make it a very ceremonial thing instead of just being like oh my gosh that athame looks so cool like i want to buy it like right now i don't really know how to make an athame so maybe you guys are on your own for that one but like definitely make your own wand i made my own cauldron uh ceramics thank you ceramics um make your own stuff you know you can get sculpy clay make something exciting guys i believe in you i believe in you i mostly whoa mm -mm, get the lighting back there we go I mostly recommend, if you're going to be a witch, uh, to, again, practice meditation. It's all about meditation in my mind and in my eyes, and that's what I'm going to preach because meditation has made my practice get so much better almost instantaneously, and I just feel so much better whenever I meditate every morning and every night. It's just a daily devotional that I do in my personal practice. That's pretty much all I have to say for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below and let me know, and I'll help you guys as soon as I possibly can. But until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and bye! We'll see you back next time for your D, D, or D, F, and like, comment, subscribe for your D, D, or D, F, and if you didn't get enough, make sure to check down below to see what I'm up to and be in the know. Little hatchlings stay geeky and cheeky and freaky little